Hello, welcome back. I'm Louise from um, Designs by Hello W. Today um, I want to make a cover for a book I'm doing, for a journal I'm doing. Um, most people start with brown paper, crinkle it all up and do all the things, but I'm going to try it with white because this is what I had like, on hand. I've got some uh, coffee and water. I'm going to coffee dye slightly and I've got some water with some conditioner in it to soften the paper um, I have got my small brayer just to flatten it all once it's all um, dried and ready I have got uh, peacock feathers that I'm going to use as the colour and I have vintage photo just in case. Um, I, even, I have Memento just in case. But that's the main colour I'm going to go for with coffee dyed. So let's, I mean it might turn out a disaster. I don't know but I'm going to try. So let's go. The first thing I think I'll do is um, the coffee dyeing which will wet it at the same time. I've got a plastic cover down so I don't destroy everything in my wake. Right. And this is just a large um, envelope that I've, not even an envelope, a uh, um, what's it called? The padded envelope thing. It was one of those big ones. Really big ones. See? All right, it's getting a bit. I may have to dry it in between. Right, I'm going to go and dry that quickly, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back, so that's dried quite nicely. And so just going to it. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, I think that's enough of that. Right, I'll just go and dry this now. Back in a minute. Right, I'm back again. Um, so I put on some more coffee and dried it. And it's like giving this lovely. See it? Oh, I love it. I sprayed on a little bit of um, the water with the conditioner in it just to try and soften it up a bit and I dried it just so um, it wasn't keep coming back and forth, back and forth so and it's, it's quite nice it's got plenty of wrinkles in it so now for what I want um, now I just want to put some colour on it um, this peacock feathers I think I will wet it down and then just dab it, see how that goes. I'm just going to use this water with the conditioner in it. Oh, it's going to smell nice anyway. <laughs> Good. Um, let's see. I don't think that looks good. Just whip up the rest of it. Over here. Now I'm going to have to go and dry it now again. So I'll be back in a second. Bye. Right, back again. Um, so this is how it's turned out so far. Some nice dark spots and lighter spots and some colour. Um, I want a little bit of colour in some of the places I didn't catch so what I'm going to do is just run this over it a little bit just to catch some of the some of the high spots turn it round you get other parts of the, like the bits that are sticking up let's see what 
that looks like. I think that looks good. That's what I wanted. So I've got some uh, glue and some water. Hopefully that will be enough. I'm using this Artway Strong PVA medium for art and crafts. Um, I've got a link in the description for that if anybody wants it. So I'm just going to use this to seal it. So I've just put a little bit of water in it just to like, thin it down a bit. I'm just going to use uh, the brush. And I know this is water reactive so I'll try not to um, brush it rather than kind of dabbing it. I mean I don't mind if it all kind of mingles a bit so it'll look more natural that way. So how is everybody? I hope you're getting loads of crafting in or loads of me time, stuff to do what you want. I don't have a light on today because the weather's actually nice. It's been rubbish for a couple of weeks, but it's, uh, it's nice again. So, no light needed. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, thanks to all the subscribers, new subscribers. And if you're watching this and you don't subscribe, why not? <laughs> Click the button that says subscribe and give me a like, thumbs up, write a message, whatever, I don't mind. I'll answer any questions, I'll take any criticism, constructive obviously. Um, but yeah, if you're watching it and you don't subscribe, um, please subscribe and get to see more of what I do and if you hit the notification bell it will tell you every time I've got a video out I have a Facebook group as well myself and my daughter um, it's called uh, the Crafty Coven Facebook group um, we're new but we've got about 36 people in at the moment so we've just started doing some challenges just to get people involved, just to keep them busy. Just little challenges, maybe like paint a picture, make something, just little things. So we'll build up from there. But if you want to join in, just click the link. I'll have a link down below and you can uh, just click it and join. If you've got your own Etsy shop or a YouTube channel, I'm quite happy to um, help you promote it. Tell everybody all about it, all the stuff you've got in your shop, all the videos you've got going on. That's what I'm here for, to help everybody. So it'll be lovely to see you all. I've got a YouTube channel obviously because you're watching it. Um, I have my own Facebook page which is Designs by Lou W. I have my Etsy shop where you can buy journals and ephemera and supplies, cards. I even make cards. So pop on over and have a look and see what takes your fancy. Uh, especially Christmas coming up, there'll be lots of things that you can use as a gift. Um, I've, I've literally just sold my last journal this morning, so I've got I've got a few that's um, just nearly ready to go back in. So if you're looking for a journal, just keep your eye out 
for that. Um, I've started doing custom journals. Um, it's a three week turnaround at the moment. I've got three going just now. So the turnaround is going to be a bit longer if anybody's looking for one. But I'm happy to do any theme, any colour, anything you want. I find it quite interesting because it could be a theme that I haven't thought of and I love to research it and gather all the bits that I need for it. So if you've got something that you, you want, just let me know. Right, this has gone pretty quick actually. So I think, I think that's completely covered. Let's see. Yeah, that's completely covered. Let's get maybe some little bits down the bottom there, but See, and I didn't even use all that. So I need to leave that to dry now or go and dry it. Um, this, uh, this cover is for um, a book, one of the custom ones I'm doing. And I'm just looking for the... Oh, here we go. This is... How I'm going to start it, you know the um, A4 envelopes you get that say they've got the card on the back and say uh, "Do not bend." That is the back of one of them. So I've got two of them. I'm going to cut them down to size, and I'll probably show you that in the next video. So I don't know if there's anything else I need to tell you. I mean, I'll just dry this, and then that'll be it. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, I brought this out, but I didn't need it actually because I never crumpled it up as much, so it's flat enough to get on the paper. So I'll just go and dry this, and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'll be back in a minute. I'm back again. <laughs> right, so that's it's all. That's it all dried. Yeah, completely dried. So I don't know if you can see. Maybe this way. Uh, yeah, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. And if you like that, then um, that's okay. You can use that um, that glue that I use, the the Artway Strong PVA Medium, to seal it. But obviously, there's lo there's loads of other glues out there. There's mod mod podge and everything, collage podge. I quite like that, it makes it look like it's a fabric, slightly. I mean, if you imagine that wrapped around a book, that's going to look pretty cool, I think. Pretty cool. So, I'm going to leave it there. My next video will be probably um, using this to cover a book. So, I'll leave you there and... Um, See you next time. Bye.